Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I've been teaching for a long time, but I've never stood in front of so much people. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling, really. Uh, well, already uh, Dr. Anwar introduced you that I'm a, a school teacher, simple school teacher, really. And uh, I've been teaching for quite a long time. And, uh, and I've been teaching children, and I've learned so much in, 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 from these children. And I believe always that children, inside them is locked great talent and imagination. And how do we pull that? Well, that's our role as teachers. Now, as a teacher, what do these children expect from us? I mean, what can we actually offer them? And, well, from my short experience in teaching, I believe that high expectation, uh, continuity of education, stimulating resources, a very strong bond between school and home. And I said stimulating resources, I want you all to underline that. And always, always to believe that each child can actually succeed. Now, as a teacher, my tool, or the, what I use as a tool is books. These are the resources we teach to, you know, to use it to educate these children. Now, these books should be visual effective, colorful, uh, attractive, interesting. But instead of that, our children here, this is what they get. It's really sad. This is geography. <laughs> and we shouldn't really, you know, blame these children if they're not really interested in school. Well, if I was a child and they told me to go to school and read from these books, well, I wouldn't bother really. <laughs> this is supposed to be the body of the human being. Um, I think a three-year-old can draw better than that. <laughs> so it's really sad that we have these books to educate our children with. And, and, the, sad, and, and, and the more sad thing that really breaks our hearts, or breaks my heart anyway, that we have wonderful graphic designers in this country, but they're not being utilized. Why can't we use them to create a good, educational book for our students. And this is some of the work, by the way, done by graphic designers, Sudanese graphic designers, that we are very proud of. So it's not really a problem, is it? This is an emblem, also by graphic designers in this country. And, 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 and they deserve a clap, really. This, this graphic design in this country. These are all emblems, examples of some of the work. So, you know, if you're a parent, I'm sure you have a headache of these children not bothering to study or anything, and are, we shouldn't blame them for watching TVs, all these shows now, the Arab Got Talent Show, and of course, Muhannad. I mean, even a four-year-old girl knows who's Muhannad now, and Noor. <laughs> and, um, and really, we shouldn't really blame these children, because there is nothing to motivate them. I mean, children need motivation when they're teaching. And, and I'm saying this as an experience in my teaching years, really. And of course, there's always a good side and a bad side of anything. The good side is that they will become not interested in school, dropping out of school. So there's always an alternative, either good education, getting a good degree, or selling things in the street. And these are different examples 
or we can go back, selling gum, selling water, and so on. And we should always remember that these children are the future of this country, and they are the men and women of the future. So what have we done? We need to educate them well, so they can resemble us one day, and I'm sure they will be something special if they just get some good education. Well, this is what they see us like anyway, the children. Very horrifying picture. Um, over the last year in uh, my school, where I teach, uh, I teach in uh, a school which is a British system school, and I was given to develop the resources used for uh, uh, developing the Arabic language, because most of the students that come to that school, they're not really interested in the, or not interested, but they're very poor in the English language, in the Arabic language, sorry. So you want to engage this student and to make them like and attract to that language. So you need to develop a resource to make it interesting. This is a page, it's a year seven. It's a, it's a poem. It's a very beautiful poem, by the way, by a very famous poetist, Al-Hadi Adam. And uh, this is a picture from our book. It's, it's not really clear, by the way. And this is the new look. And it's called Motherhood. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very simple idea, really. There's not really great work. It's just simple ideas, some colorful, some attractive for the students. And um, I was monitoring, whenever I develop a resource, I always monitor uh, the effectiveness of that. Uh, resource I developed, and really teachers did report to me that there is, students are more focused, students enjoy, and we know whenever there is enjoyment, there is always, oh, I mean, we know they perform well, or they're likely to perform well. And we should always remember that these children are the future of this country, and we want to educate them well. And um, my simple idea, it's, uh, it's not really groundbreaking. It's a very simple idea. And I'm sure if there is good collaboration between graphic designers, if we call on these graphic designers we have in this country, good publishers and educators, I am sure we will produce good books for these children so they can enjoy actually learning and they will become something special one day, I'm sure. Um, in the end, it's just my simple idea, really, and um, it's not really groundbreaking, or let's go to, or let's build a rocket to go to the moon. It's one of those small, almighty ideas, uh, but it does have great effectiveness, and uh, for our children, of course. And uh, as a teacher, I always believe that uh, uh, small, uh, as big ideas make huge difference. Small ideas, sorry, make big difference. And I believe always beauty is in the details. Thank you very much.